thank you, Mayor Vandersteen. Uh, welcome, welcome to the 12th quarterly update of the city's 2017-2021 strategic plan. And again, thanks to City Clerk Meredith DeBruyne for assisting tonight with the PowerPoint presentations. Uh, the strategic plan has six focus areas, quality of life, infrastructure and public facilities, economic development, neighborhood revitalization, <coughs> governing and fiscal management, and the sixth is communication. For the first area, which is, uh, I guess one thing to note uh, before I get into the specifics is that many of the projects do occur over a multi multi multiple year time frame. Staff does work collaboratively with internal and external partners. <coughs> Uh, staff tries to leverage all intergovernmental resources to maximize savings and output. Uh, staff utilizes public feedback for improvement and modifications. And last uh, but not least, comparable comparative <coughs> benchmarks with other municipalities are used to ensure our efforts remain fiscally responsive. First is quality of life. Uh, again, uh, the spreadsheet was included in your uh, Friday packet and posted. Uh, I'm going to be hitting the highlights. Uh, so I have three or four of each of the uh, action items and or uh, three or four of the critical measures uh, for each of the six. So the first is a uh, fire response within 380 seconds. Uh, that is a national standard. Uh, we hope to achieve that 96% of the time. Uh, in the first quarter of 2020, uh, we're, we were able to uh, respond within 380 seconds, 96% of the time. Um, the, and again, the goal is uh, 90%. So we were very close to achieving 100% of our goal uh, for crime rates, uh, violent crimes specifically, uh, 0.40 per 1,000 population. Uh, this is only 15% of the annual annualized benchmark. Uh, this compares favoritively with uh, prior years. Uh, in 2019, 2018, uh, that uh, amount uh, uh, is almost half of what we've experienced in the prior uh, two years. For part one crime rates, property crimes, uh, we're, we're at point, we're at 3.8, which is 17% of our annualized benchmark. Uh, so we are below, in essence, 25% of the year has passed. We are below that benchmarking uh, amount. This is consistent with prior 2019 and 2018 years. For uh, poundage of prescription drugs collected, we're at 18% uh, with 216 pounds. And this is, uh, again, uh, consistent with what was experienced in 2019. <clears throat> Other quality of life uh, items are uh, our neighborhood associations. Uh, we are at 10. Uh, those, that 10th association uh, was approved last year. Uh, we've increased our goal to 11 for 2020. Uh, so far this year, we remain at 10. <clears throat> 17.49 uh, trips per revenue mile for Shoreline Metro on its fixed routes. Uh, for the last three years, uh, we have been above uh, above our goal. Uh, so uh, no doubt uh, that will change for the second quarter of 2020. Uh, the city has 42 years consecutive Tree City USA designation. As you know, this is the longest consecutive award uh, in the state of Wisconsin. We began work uh, on our 43rd year. So we will be notified uh, in less than a year of our hopefully next successful uh, applications. For infrastructure and public facilities, uh, Shoreline Metro is working with the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, Bay Lakes Regional Planning Commission, and the Federal Transportation Administration on a safety management system. Uh, uh, recently, uh, Derek Mink received notification that FTA has approved an extension to the end of 2020 in light of other challenges that many transit uh, authorities are experiencing. Uh, next is develop a citywide long-term stormwater management program. 
Uh, this initially was kicked off in 2018. Uh, city staff is currently reviewing uh, possible uh, changes to the city's ordinance associated with this, and we'll present a plan uh, later this year. Uh, again, as, as, as I mentioned, uh, this has been a long uh, process, uh, and I look forward to uh, hearing of, of the results and the staff's recommendations. For the pavement rating, uh, the city is at 6.25. This rating is valid for approximately a two-year period of time. So originally this rating of 6.25 was identified or established in 2019. Uh, our benchmark goal is 6.5, so we are at 96%. Uh, in comparison, in 2017, the city was at 5.9. Uh, so we continue to make advances. The scale is on a 1 to 10, with 1 being failed, 10 being excellent, and no maintenance required with that 10 rating. For economic development, uh, the number of new hotel rooms constructed, uh, again, construction is expected to uh, begin or commence uh, for Hampton Inn. Uh, last year, footings and foundations were installed. Um, prior to COVID-19, uh, construction was expected in early spring. Uh, construction was put on hold, uh, but expected to commence uh, in June. Uh, so soon. Uh, next is uh, transform former capsule property into the renovation district. Uh, this along with the adjacent Indian, Indian Avenue lots for the focus of an innovation <coughs> district. Currently, uh, the SC EDC along with city staff uh, is working on putting, working on uh, submitting a U.S. Economic Development Administration grant. Uh, so Chad Pelishak, uh, his team, as well as the SC EDC team uh, are working on uh, a very elaborate application. Uh, the foundation will be the official applicant of the SCEDC. Uh, due to COVID-19, uh, you may be aware that the CARES Act included additional funding. Uh, and uh, what is anticipated or what the goal is to receive up to an 80% uh, project funding uh, through this uh, EDA grant. Uh, in the 2020 budget, uh, it included funding to construct an adjacent parking lot. However, due to the timing of this project, will which will probably not commence at the earliest until spring of 2021, uh, the parking lot will be delayed until at least 2021. The last is the annual ridership of the trolley. Uh, the trolley uh, is not operational the first quarter of the year, so that stands at 0%. I included this as a measurement simply so I could take the opportunity to discuss it. Normally, uh, the trolley uh, routes uh, begin to operate in June. Uh, it's anticipated that uh, this year, uh, the earliest of the trolley line would start is July. A uh, decision will be made sometime in June regarding uh, when uh, the trolley will commence its, its, uh, its route. Next is neighborhood revitalization. Uh, first uh, action item is to maintain neighborhood beat officer positions. Uh, this position, the city success, what, these two positions, the city was successful in obtaining a three year commitment, 2019 to 2021 grant uh, by the federal government, and this is at 75%. Uh, annual spring cleanup event in partnership <coughs> with Public Works. Uh, this will be the second year. And again, this is done in conjunction with those 10 neighborhood associations. Uh, last year, I think uh, we kicked off this spring cleanup uh, in May. Uh, this year, uh, we will uh, start planning specific dates with the associations uh, for June. Again, those are typically held on Saturdays. Uh, next is uh, 38 abandoned vehicles towed. We're at 44% of the annual goal. Uh, the annual goal is 86. Uh, this is comparable to uh, prior years in 2019. It was 34 for the first quarter, a little bit higher in 2018 at 51 vehicles. Last on the slide is 17 garbage complaints investigated and cited. This is through the building inspection office. Uh, 6%, uh, I, I perceive this to be a good number in that the number of potential uh, violations or, or complaints are down. Uh, this compares uh, favorably to prior years in 2019. This number was 98. 
and in 2018, this number was 264, so a significant reduction. Uh, again, the benchmark when the strategic plan was developed, a benchmark of 300 was identified on an annualized basis. So, so far, uh, a really a low number as far as number of complaints associated with garbage. Governing and fiscal management is the next category, uh, the fifth of the six. Uh, as you know, uh, recently the city uh, received notification from Moody's Investor Service that we are able to maintain our AA2 bond rating. Uh, the second item is enhanced cybersecurity. In addition to uh, our IT department being very vigilant and uh, uh, continuous effort to monitor, uh, the city did receive an award by our uh, insurance company, Civmic, uh, where they will fund a substantial cost associated with uh, a consultant audit, which we conducted this fall uh, in 2020. The last focus area is communication. Uh, the city continues to see a steady increase in uh, users of all city social media outlets. So for all of our categories in line 123 to 127, we are at or above uh, those benchmarks. So Twitter, Nextdoor, Facebook, Nextel, and Instagram. Uh, again, it's good to see uh, electronic, especially uh, during COVID-19, <clears throat> that uh, the public continues to reach out and the city, again, is pushing out information through these social media outlets. Uh, next is 1,455 community survey responses. Uh, this, the benchmark was identified as 1,200, so we are 121%, uh, I guess, above that benchmark for the 2020 survey. This compares favorably to the 2019 and 2018 survey, where 1,277 and 1,187 uh, uh, responses respectively occurred in 19 and 2018. Last is nine fire department community events. This is 20% uh, of the uh, annualized benchmark. 45 events is the goal. Uh, nine events uh, is favorable compared to 2019 and 2018, where six and one respectively uh, community events were held. Uh, again, due to COVID-19, uh, second quarter and potentially third quarter uh, could be impacted as far as number of community events. Uh, that concludes uh, the six different focus areas of our strategic plan for the first quarter. Uh, does the council have any questions regarding the highlighted action items or critical measures? Uh, if not, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, as city staff shares this information on the progress the city's made in advancing the goals of the strategic plan. Thanks again. Uh -huh.